Hi Virgo, welcome to your April forecast. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Well, there will be success that's going to be coming your way when it comes to your work. You're thinking much more about finances, your, your financial security. And... The Empress, High Priest. Hmm. Okay, okay. Just one more. Oh, it's like you're balancing. Now some Virgos are actually, um, you know, especially if you're bisexual. Looks like you're trying to make a choice between two people of different genders, okay? Or altogether, you're also trying to balance out your options between two people that you're dating. But your finances and your work are really, really good. Hmm. And yeah, uh, I feel like you are going to try and keep your, I mean, keep the good news to yourself until you're all this sure. Hmm. And someone will also have some problems with, uh, you know, um, erectile dysfunction. Manifest your dreams. Embrace those around you. Okay, well, let's pull out some more clarification here. It looks like there is a brand new decision or life, or love life, you know, that you're about to begin. And it seems like you're finally be moving on from a water sign of woman who just, you know, uh, gave you a lot of hard times in the past and you just um, gave you a lot of strife, okay? You have tried to save the relationship by this person, but somehow they are the one who's already closed down and uh, who already shut you out. You, you, well, even though you are you feel so guilty of the betrayal that already happened or that already took place in the past, but you're ready to make it up. Yet somehow you just wanted to keep on moving on and enjoy your life, explore your potentials, explore other areas of your life. And you will be meeting somebody who is uh, another water sign, but born in the year of the snake or born in the year of the ox. Okay. And I feel like this person, you will feel that, you know, it's like the two of you are so familiar with each other. There's so much, you have so much things in common and you feel like you're very well connected and you feel very you know it's like um the two of you are <laughs> well it's somewhat meant to be you know you finish each other's sentences and it's like you're you seem so familiar with this person and this is somebody who is um a very workaholic i feel like they're single but they already have um, children from pre uh, previous relationship or marriage and it seems like they are looking for somebody to be with in a serious 
you know, in a serious commitment and not just like flings or something like that because they're not really in the kind of casual hookups or dating and stuff like that. Because if you're only looking for sex, then they're not really the right person for you because they're very serious in life and they also have a lot of respect for the people that they're going to be with. And they're also looking for marriage, okay? Whether this is a man or a woman. Now... When it comes to your career, well, it looks like there is going to be a very big victory that will be coming your way. But just, you know, uh, this is just uh, the start of it. So don't celebrate yet. Because I feel like there's still more to come. Yet somehow there is a fire sign that is trying to get closer to you. But you need to weigh things down, okay? As I feel like this person has some hidden jealousy or envy towards you. And you will be very happy with the things that are about to unfold um, when it comes to your professional life. But I feel like you are also thinking or trying to balance things out if you should go or, you know, she should, if you should stay. Well, since you already got what you want from your job, why do you still have to, you know, consider le leaving? Well, and there will be an upcoming betrayal that you will also be stumbling upon. And I feel like um, even if this person will be asking for forgiveness from you, I don't feel like you're, you know, I don't feel like you will still be letting this person in. And you will always have whatever they've done to you at the back of your head and you'll always think about this. And I feel like there are a lot more things that you're keeping for, to yourself because you're so afraid of, you know, who are the people that you can trust with? Because you're holding some very confidential and important matters. And you don't even know if there are some other people who can, you know, like take over for you whenever you're not there. Or if you should just if you should just um, take it all together with you. Especially for those who's working in the accounts department or in the finance department. Now, love life looks like... You are trying to choose between an earth sign and, well, two earth signs. No, actually, two earth signs, one air sign. And I feel like the air sign is, well, it's the, it's the earth sign that is much more, that weighs much more heavier. One Taurus. And the other one is either Virgo or Capricorn. And then the other one is Gemini. And I feel like you really want to be with this other Earth sign who is very, like, um, you know, is very much into their work and very dedicated and very serious in life. While the other person always weighs, you know, um, they always weigh everything. They always want everything to be even. If they give you something, then you have to give something back. If you if they do something to you, then you have to do something back to them, and you feel like, you know, that kind of relationship is like a like a store. And the other person, well, the younger Earth sign is also very generous and accommodating, but you feel like this is too young for you. So, if you are trying to have some, you know, big decisions, I feel like you're gonna go for the other Earth sign. The one who's very hardworking, much more financially stable, matured, responsible, emotionally open, understanding, unconditional, and very intelligent. And I feel like this is the one where you really um, feel much more familiar and much more connected. For those who's already married, I feel like you will be enhancing much more of your quality time with your family. And I feel like you're going to be making it up to them by going on a vacation. I don't see any, um, like a long distance trip or out of um, out of the country or out of town trip, but it's more of you're already working on your schedule to spend more time with them. Uh, good for you. Now, some other Virgos, especially if you're a bisexual, it looks like you are choosing between a man and a woman at this point. Gross aside, but you know, for those straight who can't, you know. Um, please know that this is, um, you know, this is a general reading, but for those, um, you know, uh, straight or not so, hmm, well, more of an open-minded or open sexuality, 
It seems like you're trying to make a decision between two people both at the same time. But the other one weighs heavier than you because you're more emotionally comfortable with them. While the other, you're more sexually comfortable with, you know, with the other. So you don't know which one you'll be choosing. But you know that you have to. And whenever you're with a guy, you feel like you're, you know, feeling a little bit dysfunctional. Or feeling like, you know, something else is missing or this is not what you really want. And when the other one is, when you're with the other one... Um, you are feeling a little bit um, not so open, okay? It's like you're not yet ready, but you are willing to do whatever it takes to, you know. That's why you're so confused emotionally. Now, in general, for, um, for those other Virgos out there, I feel like you are trying to experiment a little bit. And you're also open to some other suggestions just to make your relationship better or just to you know enhance more of your passion and enhance more of your sex life you know whatever it takes and even if there include there will be some ex experimentations or you know some other methods to use or to try you're open and i feel like you're gonna make it up you know mm. Yeah, but I feel like you're going to be faking. I mean, you know, if you don't want to fake your orgasm with the, with your partner, try to talk things out. Because I feel like it is, it's more emotionally inclined and it has something to do more with unspoken issues or unresolved issues in the past. And one of you needs to better your oral style, okay? Your oral thing. So, yeah. So, anyway, mm. no, because um, some other viewers are actually open to, especially singles, you know, to some other alternatives, and I feel like you're still trying to keep your options open. For those singles, okay? Not for those who's already taken. Now, when it comes to your health, be careful in heart problems. And I feel like you have to deal with some parasitic infections. Um, you also need to start um, gaining a bit of a weight. Migraine problems, headache, nausea, sleepless nights. Um, waking up with a with a numb side of their head or a numb side of your face, and you also need to rehydrate. You will also be feeling so cold and lethargic, and uh, be careful of nose bleeding. Okay, and um, you will also notice that your nails are starting to get brittle. Um, body pain, joint pain. Um, having a hard time breathing. It's like something heavy is on top of you. And you are... Well, your blood pressure will also be rising up. And I feel like you will be losing your appetite eating. You know, I mean, when it comes to food. So you need to go and see, uh, you know, check out with the doctor what's really wrong with you or what's going on with you. Your, uh, your lungs is also something that you need to watch out for, especially if you're smoking. I feel like it runs in the family, you know, the, uh, the lung disease that, you're, that you will be feeling and that you will be ex experiencing soon. Now, Ace of Action, this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities rela related to your creativity. Your career or pursuing your dreams, this is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. That's why you're having a hard time whether you know making a decision making a decision whether you're gonna be staying in your in your job or if you should just, you know, start something new altogether. Manifest your dreams, you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they are small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. 
Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and shade your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. See? This is this is something about the uh, your sex your um your sex life, okay? You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Okay? So some Virgos right now are being too exploratory or um experimental. Okay, anyway, that's it for you for this month, Virgo. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.